Welcome to October's Month in Photos, where we show you what's happening on base. Tech Sergeant Laura Johnson climbs a ladder during the 2014 Fire Muster. The ladder climb was one of the eight events that teams competed in during the Fire Muster as part of Fire Prevention Week. Senior Airman Christopher Diaz and Staff Sergeant Juan Ramirez fold a fire hose into a Cleveland load during a drill. The drill required the firefighters to enter a smoke-filled building and retrieve two victims. Senior Airman Minda Evans observes as students sight their rifles. Combat arms training and maintenance instructors teach proper firing techniques to students during a classroom portion of training, and they ensure proper application and safety during the firing portion. Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, James A. Cody, learns how to administrate a flu shot from 22nd Medical Group Airmen. Shortly after practicing on the dummy, he had the chance to give a flu shot to a living, breathing patient. Two CF-18 Hornets from the 425th Tactical Fighter Squadron fly alongside a KC-135 Stratotanker before being refueled during an exercise at Vigilant Shield 15 at Goose Bay, Newfoundland. Senior Airman Nicholas Butera performs a service inspection on a self-generating nitrogen cart. The inspection must be performed before and after use on the flight line. Airman First Class Kyle Wilson sings karaoke during this month's Airman Center opening. The center, named The Breakaway, is a club on base for E1 through E4 and gives airmen a place to relax and kick back when they're off duty. Jared Estes, a survivor of an alcohol-related car crash, speaks to members of McConnell Air Force Base during a Wingman Day event. Estes spent nearly a decade recovering from the wounds of a car crash and the death of his wife. He shared his story of recovery to the members of Team McConnell. And that's your month in photos. I'm Senior Airman Jared Vickers.